I like my green with crystals like Folgers. Picking up momentum, rolling like boulders. They call me ice, but I'm really much colder. My rhymes is heavy like the weight on my shoulders. I'm spitting that red hot smoldering lava. I fight to the end like the Navajo. Crack a bottle though. Make it the goose with cranberry and triple sec. Triple my check. I feel the ripple effect of a fool on the loose. I hit you from every angle from a tooth to right street shit like JJ of dynamite. Slide me some dough. I show you an execution in the flesh and promise not to leave nothing left. If you vomit, I keep stabbing, shooting, damaging, looting till it ain't no disputing who the greatest is. Ooh. What up, y'all? What up? What up? What up? Intro still fire every single time. Yeah, like intro, intro still fire. Man. I like that intro. You man. did your intro thing on that yeah. one, brother. I say so, man. That I, intro is fire. I haven't got tired. I usually get tired of shit kind of quickly, man. And that shit, man, I just keep, I love hearing it, man. Hey, every time it take on a new life, I see a different building downtown. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, in, <laughs> you heard about you know, that. You know what I mean? I see a different car room. I'm like, this nigga really ah. did the, I felt like I was coming there and then into the picture. Ah, dude, you like that fire. shit is fire. My you know the part buddy. I like, man? I like the fucking palm trees and shit to just be off in the distance to the side and shit, man. I mm-hmm. like that shit. Mm-hmm. L.A. flavor. What what was your inspiration in that? Because we before that we had a dull ass intro. Like like what was it that made you say my intro is some bullshit? I need to spice it up. Well, you know, dude. Basically, what 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 dawned on me is how I do the same fucking routine every day when okay. I was on my way, right? Mm-hmm. So one day I was on my way and I was like, damn, dude, this shit would be dope if I could just film this whole pathway from beginning to end and just speed it up real fast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And dude, I just rolled out with my hand in my with my phone in my hand, was like, uh, that's nasty. Uh avoiding that tickets. Uh, that's nasty. Allegedly I had my phone up. Allegedly, dude, better like, say allegedly, goddamn it. They'll send you a ticket in the mail. These motherfuckers yeah. will make money. That yeah. shit was brilliant. I be lying a lot when I'm talking about videos I make and shit, man. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't me. Yeah. Man. She was brilliant. But, uh, yeah, that's how it happened, though, man. And then I got out the car in the parking lot and, like, kind of, like, tried it kind of fast, nigga, to the back. <laughs> Brilliant. What up, man? Hey, it's Mike Robertson. Thanks for joining Mike Robertson Boulevard. Y'all love y'all. We embarking upon another nice little Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving week. <laughs> um, next to me, I got my man, Mr. Dewan Encyclopedia Brown. What's up, man? What up, man? You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Everything is good, uh. <laughs> in the hood. Pronouncing them D's at the end, man. You got D's on your shit? Mm. Hey, Melrose Uncut is over here. What's the up, mo- The most interesting comic in the whole world. God damn right. That's right. He lives up to that, man. Look at that hat, Melrose. I, I really, I, this was a uh, choice decision, too. Melrose, you got to talk about the hat, man. You... I was just feeling like, man, nigga, I'm old. And I need a like an old nigga symbol. You know what I'm saying? I'll be out here acting old, but nigga, you don't got no old nigga symbol. I'm like, man, fuck it. I'm going to pull out the <laughs> the hat on these niggas. One of them hats that uh, a young nigga can't even wear. Yeah. Oh, uh, that is young true. Can't so you like owning your old. That's yeah. Like but old, man, embracing owning. my young at the same time. Oh, uh, you trying to do like a little yeah. like ox. <laughs> it was symbolism. <laughs> Topsy turvy. It was symbolism. Ah, oh, man. This shit is fresh. Symbolism. It looked like you could either be a dancer or a fucking... I could be anything in this hat. Player. Like, this hat, yeah, this hat nigga, player. take a nigga in. <laughs> I could be anything in this hat, solo. nigga. Yeah. Like, nigga, nigga, nigga don't know what a nigga... Teeth. I could be a poet in this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Especially that, nigga. You could be a poet. Yeah, yeah, Brother Mel Rose. Delivering yeah. roses to ladies, nigga, as a service and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sister. Yes. Ta, 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 ta. That part. Oh, man. What would you say, Mel Rose? It's right up at the door piece. Like, you got the roses, nigga. You just step to her and she see the hat first. <laughs> These are for you. <laughs> man. That was kind of whack, huh? <laughs> what? Yeah, man. I was a nigga with a hat and some roses. <laughs> These are for you. I was expecting a little more poetry, man. Some little rhymes, man. Make a nigga click, roses click, are red. You need to give me. Now, Mel Rose, I want you to make her melt. Like, you gave her the roses and she was, ah, oh, but she didn't melt yet. Nigga, that didn't do it, nigga. She's hot. Hey. She, yeah. It's an ice box where our heart used to be, nigga. Uh, I can't do nothing more than that. Shows hey. and roses and a hat like this. Uh, hey. Fuck else you want to 
uh, R and B routine. You want some four other niggas in the hat to sing the same song? Oh man, you fucking funny, man. Look, man. What do we uh, also we have to say? Um, hello to Poetis. Yes. Hello. What's up, Poetis? Shout out, Poe. Doing. Poetis was at the little BBD uh, 50th party. We was talking about that, mm. man. Just, oh, that's what's up. Yeah, she 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 um, bouncing around in different crowds, man. It's not the regular shit, man. She doing her shit. <laughs> I don't know if y'all remember. A couple weeks ago, I was talking about my my uh, starstruck moment. Mm-hmm. Oh, talking about BBD. No, nigga, not specifically. Oh, Ronnie. Ronda Vo. I saw the nigga four rows behind me. I was like, man. Uh, I was sitting in my seat. I said, you know what? I'm finna say something to this nigga. Damn. <laughs> you been such an impact. I'm finna. <laughs> nigga, I climbed four rows over and said, hey, man, thank you. Hey, that shit y'all did it with fashion. She was crazy. The shit with the one buckle off? And I climbed four rows back over. Hey, look, it over been... niggas sitting in their seats like <laughs> Hey, you know Excuse what would have been super cool, though? Yeah. Let me tell you what would have been super cool, what? dude, if POTUS would have fucking took you with her. Uh, POTUS would have <laughs> got right past that security. That like, hey, great, Melrose. That was your chance. POTUS, was you not thinking about if you... You didn't believe him when he said that... No, on everything, I was going to invite Melrose. But... I, I events like that. It's like you don't know if you're gonna get hassled at the door or not. I didn't know if it was gonna be hassled, uh, and I would hate to bring Melrose and then I look all stupid and shit if we can't get. Uh, in. I would. Uh, we would have went inside and got in that motherfucker. I don't care. We have to go through the I kitchen. I felt like bad that. because yeah. I really did think about Melrose, and I ended up going by myself. So, uh, uh, so niggas never could fight when you go by yourself. Yeah, but, like, but look, if he would have wore that hat, right? Melrose, see, well, right I went by room. myself. Hey, right, hey, <laughs> hey, this nigga no rendezvous, yeah. obviously, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> Next time Disney. for sure. Uh, Easy. No, I just mess with y'all. That's what's up. No, I, I really did think about Melrose. I Thank did. you. Hey, you gotta tell us about the party. Like that. What, what happened? It was fun. I, it was just a good time. I enjoyed it because there was a lot of people from my era uh-huh. <laughs> there. Friends and people you said in the from music. my era, <laughs> yeah. kids like she 90s. talking about when they rap bars when, before they needed sixteen different people on one yeah. album. She talking about those years. Are like we talking about years? Emmanuel right. Lewis and shit? Was that well, name? Usher performed. Well, Usher, you know, he didn't damn. really he didn't really perform. He came up on stage and they put a song up and you know he was putting the mic out. Ah, uh, yeah. I said, "What a way." He was dancing. He though. was like, "Y'all niggas was he moving? Me? Did he seem like he was? Nigga had some dance moves. He was just on stage. He was just like." You know, <laughs> letting the crowd sing his. Usher, uh, sure, don't do he it. He got no. it like that. No, uh, he shout don't. out to uh, um, Digital that. Underground, Money Being Young, Hunk. Oh, that's they what's up. Thing. Oh, uh, really? DVD uh, performed. Okay. That's what I was going to see. I was, I was on StubHub looking at them off. I was like, $150. It was $150? Oh. To get yeah, in? it was. It was. No, actually, it was 175 Wow. And I, I was like, mmm. Like, like I told that nigga I how I felt back was. then. Yeah. I, told, yeah. I already told that nigga. Yeah. Like, I'm going to go out and say it wasn't worth it. Nah. It was 175 Nah. Yeah, yeah. You and you got, and, you and got, then drinks was, Precious was complaining that the drinks was $16. Wait, a wait. Pop. Wait, drinks wasn't included? No. Oh, that just killed the whole shit right You know there. what was included? It was a uh, red carpet access uh, <laughs> for the 175 You can blow up your now. Instagram <laughs> if you come to this party. I, I contemplated, too. I like. Hundred and fifty dollars, mm. you could blow up your Instagram. Waste of money. Get that nigga Ronnie in the background. Shit, that that, money. that, that price is poison. Fuck that. Yeah, that price is poison. <laughs> Hell yeah! But they dude. all look great though. Really? And to be like, get you know, turn fifty. Ronnie, Ronnie always yeah. looked like an alien to me. And then Bobby yeah. stole the show. Bobby's a star. Bobby, Bobby always stole the show. I love always, Bobby Brown. Always. Always. <laughs> Did Bobby that, always said something. No always. Hey, was that nigga slightly sweating as if drunk? No, no, he actually looked, you know, decent. Do we say it looked that like Kanye he lost jog? a little weight, too. Oh, really? Do we say that Kanye weight. jaw, where it's like on one end? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Bobby, Bobby lost the lock jaw a <laughs> long time ago. Okay, oh, okay. really? Yeah, Bobby like a... Bobby, I saw Bobby perform one time in my entire life at the Staples Center. And I was at the top. I didn't know when you stood up, the seat... Like pop up yeah. too. Uh, yeah, Ooh. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Ooh. Bobby did a move in that three hundred section. Yeah, I was. Oh, that's scary. We was in a no, we was in a box. But when I got up, the seat 
Yeah. Pop back up too. So I saw Bobby do a move. I jumped up like woo, and then I went to Chanel. Uh, uh, <laughs> and you slid, nigga. I'm like, oh, I'm about to fall over the niggas. Like, I'm yo, still yeah, sitting. That's funny. Yeah. That's a real story. I almost <laughs> fell off the top me. fucking with Bobby Brown. <laughs> nigga made you slide, huh? He's an ill performer. I think Bobby Yard is still the show, man. He a star. What are we talking about today, Mike? What man, you got, what you you know got what on your list about, of? Man? We're talking about Thanksgiving, man. Talking uh, about being thankful, uh, thankful for the shit that's going good in your life. Melrose, I know you could talk all night about it. Mr. Dewan Brown, you too, man. We are trying to be thankful, man. What mm-hmm. are we talking about here, man? That's what we're talking about. Aggressive thankfulness. The white man is so powerful. <laughs> <laughs> That he got you thinking you could thank <laughs> This nigga got niggas <laughs> celebrating massacres <laughs> with their family. Like, nigga, this is the only time my family get together. Like, Voluntarily. Nigga. And think about how they oh, rub it in, too. Day, nigga. Uh, tell because me about when, it. when they came over here on Plymouth Rock and all that bullshit, like, they didn't come over here just killing people outright. They didn't know what it was. The, nah. Native, the Native Americans said, hey, look. It was strategically. Hey, here, Tom, this is how you grow the corn. Hey, yo, Bobby, this is how you, you know, you hunt the buffalo and make a jacket for yourself. And this is how you make bow and arrows. And them niggas raise their kids and like, all right, now, when y'all have kids, y'all gonna murder them <laughs> motherfuckers on that side of the river. <laughs> and, he, and every goddamn Thursday. There will eventually Thursday, not be enough room for all of us. And every hey, no, last no, no. Thursday in November, we celebrate the deception of these motherfuckers coming over with disease blankets. Uh, but this, the food good and motherfuckers, so hey. Well, that's when, the question, man. Are we celebrating that still... Or has it morphed into some shit that's like now? Nah, fuck that. You can control. Imagine this: these niggas sitting down like, "Hey, my nigga, you ain't gonna believe this shit. These niggas teaching us how to do everything." <laughs> uh huh. They showing us the recipe yeah. to the super sauce, man. Hey, what this. Hey, hey, listen, listen. We gonna kill these motherfuckers. It take that shit. Look, nigga, we got 14 of the spices. Once we get one more spice, it's nigga, over for It's him. over. Hey, it's, <laughs> it's a book I want y'all to read. It's called The First of the Original mm-hmm. Americans Were Africans by Dr. David Imhotep. It's a research book. Mm. Yeah. And it and it goes into Christopher Columbus's memos when he came over here to America. And this is what he said in the book. These was his words. What? He was like, we got here to Hispaniola, that's Haiti, mm-hmm. and said the people are real nice. Once... They showed they got calm. They 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 treating us real cool. And he's writing this back to Queen Isabella, and he says they're so nice. If you send us a, a small fleet, we should be able to take them out within two days and kill them all. Damn, those is Christmas. Nice. Was, he was like, they helping nice. us out. Man, Let's kill them. Nice. And these this, they have humanity, man. But what has it morphed to? Let's talk about let's, yeah, on a brighter note. Because look, you can own the day to be what you want it to be. Mm-hmm. We's free. God damn it. Okay. So, Thanksgiving, what can it be for a brother, man? You got anything to be thankful for, Mr. Melrose? Everything, man. Every, uh, But not in the name of Thanksgiving. Oh, you want to just change it? Yeah, yeah, it's not even... It? I'm just thankful. Every day, I'm just thankful. You know So, what look, saying? when Thanksgiving Thursday, you seem like a... Um, a uh, person who's clearly abandoned the idea of Thanksgiving. So on Thursday, God damn it, you just be feeling like it's a regular Thursday, nigga? Pretty much. Yeah. You just much. get up, go to go to work. I just, go, I, just I do it, I, but I do participate in the rituals. Like I go to my, oh. I go to my people's oh, house. Really? Oh, really? Um, oh, you know what I'm saying? I suggest, um, Auntie Brenda, you shouldn't do the uh, oh. cornbread this year. <laughs> just you know, it didn't go good. Like I do participate oh, in that aspect. Management, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like uh, cornbread. <laughs> so that potato salad. Mm. Oh. Let's let Sheila do it this yeah, time. Sheila orange last year. I don't do it again. God damn, Albanese, Scrooge. I do do the niggas. rituals though. <clears throat> Hey man, what about you, Dewan? Man, are you hey, out look, of it too, man? Are you, niggas, no, are we, are we co- Thanksgiving list type motherfuckers. I co-opt they holidays where they co-opted rock and roll. God damn it! Oh, okay. they call it rocking. <laughs> they call it Thanksgiving. I call it a day off with some good ass food, shit. Uh, and I'm yeah. doing it. God damn you know right! I mean? Like God Christmas, all that shit. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna celebrate my family and my success and. God damn it, smoke a lot of weed, eat a lot of food, god damn it. Shit, that's what I do. Let me tell you, man, it's kind of hard in this country to have knowledge yourself 
that reigns supreme over the universe, and you got it in your mind, man. Everything's a fucking drag at this bitch, man. So eventually, sometimes you got to turn some shit into something cool, man. You always got to put it back for your self-interest. That's no, right. No, you know, you ain't got to conform to what other people say you should yeah, do. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm struggling, Mike. I'm looking at you. It look like going kit they cloth. Yeah. Like, yeah. One nigga, I'm thinking it's some real Afrocentric shit clacking. For real, man. Like, I'm down with the clap back, man. Look, <laughs> look, at dinner, look. You got the word. Oh, shit, they tricking us, man. They tricking us. They about to waste us all. Oh, they thought they had us. Clap back. Smash, 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 smash. Oh, look. Wow. Well, shit, since we got all this food, we might as well still eat it. Ha, ha, ha. Booyah, you just took control, man, of the universe. <laughs> man, that's a long way around the road like there, buddy. Though. I like it, though. I like it, though. I like it, though. Nah, man. So look, man. So happy what, Thanksgiving what to you, brother. The, but look, forget about the date itself, man. What are we thankful for, man? I'm thankful for everything, man. Just uh, living every day. Uh, what's happening right now? Personally, in my business, I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for just uh, my kids. You know what I'm saying? These. What I don't know if anybody ever watched like. Um, a semen sale, grow into a real person <laughs> and start talking and have his own ideas and the ways of life. Like, I'm thankful. For, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers start talking back to you like, damn, nigga, you was yeah. in my nuts. Yeah. <laughs> you started off in a nutsack, son. Mm-hmm. Now so you I'm have thankful. your own. Yeah. That's what's up. What about you, Dewan? I'm thankful I'm breathing shit. Mm. Yeah. I'm married and working and... Got my own shit. Hey, I'm, I'm just thankful. Wow. Hell, if I have a goddamn thing, I'll be thankful. Yes, sir. Uh, because I'm living. <sighs> <laughs> He's all here to preach. Hey, you can always give a nigga a preacher ad lib. He's all like a preacher. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Tell him about the time. What are you thankful, Mike? Uh, what's, what's your. You know what, man? What's your I, think, I think I'm on this about. level, man, where I am thankful for. Just you know, man, having good energy, man, okay. and being mm-hmm. around that's good important. Energy and keeping mm-hmm. shit cool, and really taking power and control over what's happening in my life. You know what I got mean? It. And shit. And sometimes, you know, you got to see things for what they really are, man, and like decide if you want to let that shit do something to you or you stay on your own course, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I just try to keep it authentic, you know. Yeah. As you should, brother. Mm-hmm. As you should, As brother. Should. Mm-hmm. So we're going to talk about something that's in the news real quick before we get into all this Thanksgiving talk, man. I can't go without talking about this nigga, um, LeVar Ball. <laughs> that shit was funny. Man, have you all seen the latest? I have not seen yes. the latest with LeVar Bar. Ball. <clears throat> okay, so basically, son came out and admitted, mm-hmm. right? We know they stole the shit. What did he steal? He stole some shades. Some stunning shades. Stole some stunning shades. Ah, stole some shit, got... stunning shades. Ah. Kind of similar to these, but not maybe a little flyer or shit. They were mm. some Gucci. But look, here's the thing, man. They admitted to stealing. Okay. Gave they it can't. Back. They, 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 they had a press conference when they got back, said, you know, sorry. You know, we embarrassed the school, embarrassed our parents. Nigga, um... Thank you to the president. Thank you to the Chinese president. Everybody that has something to do with them coming right, home. Right. Thank you. Thank you, bam. So then Pops come and get the little interview on CNN. And he is, you know, Trump says some sideways shit to him. Like, damn, you should say thank you, motherfucker. That's what Trump said? said? Yeah, like. Oh, some real white man shit. Like, my yeah, nigga, I got yeah. your nigga out of jail, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I bailed him out. That's exactly what it was. Like, yeah. he should have left him in jail is what he said exactly. So mm-hmm. Pops. So, dude was so basically. The White House denied that. Let's just make that to be clear. I mean, that, who? Who the White it? House no, not denied it. They uh, they they prayed it down, said he wasn't serious. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. To, just yeah, to believe. They, they peeled yeah. it back. They do yeah. that as they yeah. do. Okay. Now, they now do go PR ahead. Now go what ahead. Yeah. Shit say. Shit. What did he say? So basically, he got on saying like, "Nah, man, I ain't thanking him, dude. I ain't saying thank you. Blah blah blah. If you, if I'm a thank you." I, I would thank yeah. you if you would have took him home on your plane. Like, what shit. you say? You say I would thank you if you'd have done something. Wait, 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 wait. Why the nigga think he ain't do nothing? Because he did. I don't know. Because apparently, apparently, this is what happened. I heard a little bit of people at UCLA. 
Apparently, I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with Trump, but like when that nigga do something, like, like, yeah, like get your thing. son respect back. Respect is do something. That, that, oh, I, got, damn. I got two things to say about that. That nigga say, man. We all know Trump lied about everything. What the fuck make you think he tell the truth about this? Let me, I, I, <laughs> First, I, I have an answer. But second of all, like the people that you said, like what they said, dude, like this shit was already worked out before Trump made the tweet. They came in, they saw them, they admitted Definitely to it before the tweet. They 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 came in, they saw, they admitted to it, they gave it back. And they were put on two weeks hotel arrest. They were never arrested. They put on house arrest at a facility near the hotel. But that's love. And, and they were. And it wasn't just love. This was diplomatic relationships between UCLA and China because what the business deal, the business deals that they have going on. Exactly with the Pac-10. Yeah, and so uh-huh. the whole and so like what Levar Levar Ball's point was: everyone who was involved in getting his son released was thanked personally. Trump came in with a tweet. He did. The shit was worked out before he came you through. Think with it. Ever, you think nobody ever? You think nobody ever got you, at Trump? Like, yeah, nigga, you think he had nothing to say on it? The, the, internet, just the, I'm saying the deal, country to country, the, the nigga, deal rest, was already nigga. worked out before Trump. Man, before that's Trump allegedly, knew bro. they were in UC that. Before Trump even knew they were out there, the deal was already worked out. No, no, no he here's found the out thing. when the world found out. The, no, the, and the Chinese <laughs> media found out when the and, world and the Chinese media is not validating that story about Trump. The Chinese media. They're not coming in. They're not co-signing the whole Trump thing. This this shit Here, was already worked me, out. Let me say this, bro. Let's say he didn't do shit, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say he didn't do jack, but he said he did something, right? I don't give a fuck, dude. If if you get my son out of a jail bed in China, motherfucker, and you claim, I don't care if you're the water boy, goddamn it, I'm going to be like, thank you, goddamn it, for whatever it was you think you did or you did do. Dude. They they should not like ours, dude. Where like he just stole some shades, man. Them motherfuckers will. Lo- they have nothing else to do but to lock you up, dude. They're like damn near like communists, bro. And to to not never even see a jail cell, man. Somebody made some calls in some high places, bro. Well, yeah, UCLA people, like and like Levar Ball said, the people at UCLA that need to make the calls and that that actually got the son out, they were thanked. You come coming in here, something happened to your kid. How they get them out, though? The diplomatic relationships. UCLA and China exactly. has a lot of You think that shouldn't go through the exactly. president? You don't think no, no, go it's through not, it has nothing, nothing absolutely to do. Absolutely nothing to do with the president. It was oh, shit, the dude. UCLA right. high-ups. Let's agree to disagree, man. China. What's next? Mm-hmm. Let's agree to disagree, That's man. Move. That's a hot topic right mm-hmm. there. Mm-hmm. That's a hot topic. That. Let's just talk about this, though. Let's just talk about... Plus on top of that. Let's talk about life. Let's talk about manhood. God damn it, bro. Your fucking son went over there tripping and stealing some goddamn shades. Yeah, he made You should mistake. be more humble, dude. And ain't say, no Thank fucking you. mistake. Humble. You're going to be talking shit? Humble. You still talking Hold shit? Up, bro. That humble. ain't no Dude, have you, never seen, um, um, have you never seen Lock Up Abroad, <laughs> motherfucker? You can go to jail, nigga, and never be found here, again. Here, but here's, here's the facts, though. Like, when we say that, let, let's not forget that China, this is official stats. Uh, China official has about stats. per, per 100,000 citizens... China has less than 300 locked in prison. That's in right. Because niggas don't United, do shit out there. In the United States. Exactly. Because niggas don't do shit out the there because your States, ass is going to jail. In the United States, per 100,000 people, there are 700 white men locked up in jail. In, in the United States, per 100,000 people, there are 8,900 black men locked up in jail. Yeah. He's far more likely to go to jail. Y'all making it seem like he went to China. He didn't this steal is the place here. he got to worry about. Uh, he didn't steal uh, here. China. He didn't steal here. Uh, he didn't steal here. He got to worry here, God damn it! But you got rights. You can call your fucking lawyer and blah, blah, blah. Nigga, China don't give a fuck about none of they that. They obviously do. China's yeah, about that called, money. Yeah, because he called to high places, bro. No, yeah, no, UCLA people. You already, the people who They don't give a, a fuck about UCLA. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Other than that goddamn little agreement. Dude, who, all right. who cares? Fuck that shit. They don't give a shit about UCLA. Fuck all that money UCLA bringing them. Playing that All game the money they bring in them. They have a the thing is China. The dude who runs the game has fifty billion dollars. The, the thing is with the China and UCLA, he has 50 they have billion dollars. They have, they they have, they have, have right? a huge. Yeah, no, they have a rich as shit. And you and yeah, one of their richest people. It's like Bill Gates doing a fucking but, basketball. You no, know, what I was saying was China has a long standing relationship with uh, UCLA in the school. Do. And they all do. of the schools, as they far got as them, got all the so goddamn the best students going to the, the yeah, the, the diplomatic ties are already done in there. So it was all of our bar basically saying is look. I thank the people who need to be thanked. Trump come in and try and take credit for some shit, and I'm not going to play the game with you. 
That's called holding your own hey, nuts. Hey, man, that's called like. I'm not going to castrate myself and cow out. That's, that's a publicity stunt. To. Yeah. It's a publicity. Why is he even on the news? Dude, why is he even on the news taking shine away from his kids and shit, man? Why no, 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 no. He shouldn't even be on the news. So when you think about it like that, he did some fly shit. Now we're talking about him and his nigga. He did some fly shit. He did some fly Like you said that. Uh, now like, niggas is arguing about it over now. Like niggas. Look, Mel Rose, the nigga said this. He says, the only way I would thank you is if you, you actually something. took him on your own plane. That's a misquote. Don't misquote. Don't misquote. We that, own this motherfucker. That's hey, not what he said. What did he say? No, what he said, he's, no, he said that would be, he said it would be different if he That's took right. him on. He said, the only way I'll thank right. he said, no, what he said was, he said, the only way I'll thank you is if you actually had something to do with it. No. And, and, Trump, and, and he gave an example. He said, is, he you said, take him on your own plane back to America. Like, you can't make the call like, yo, homie, let my homie go. Let him put him on whatever plane. Yeah, because it was plan. already done. Like, this shit don't matter. Because by the time Trump, Trump tweeted. Pure speculation. I moved to strike your honor. Let's go to the All next right, case. let's go to it, man. All God right, look. Damn. Fuck them niggas. Dope. What's, what's the shit called, Melrose? What? Dope or whack? The uh, dopest wackish. Dopest wackish. We're gonna have a round of dopest wackish. Dopest wackish. Thanksgiving food items. Ooh. Okay. Dopest wackish. Okay. I'll go first. What is it? What? The dopest wackish shit, man, is the actual turkey itself, man. Mm. Yeah, I gotta niggas agree. Be, I gotta agree with that. Niggas be claiming turkey, turkey, turkey. Nigga, that shit is whack, kind of man. You gotta put all kind of shit on it. You gotta have it wet, and you gotta put. All kind of uh, cranberry sauces, and especially when a ordinary nigga go to uh, deep fry it, like yeah, like nigga, you don't just uh, you know what I'm saying. You don't like, just walk up on like, some deep. You fry. don't just walk up on a deep fried turkey. Like a lot of niggas have lost a garage. Yeah. Behind the same you got action, deep fried turkey like, in the kitchen. You, you don't just deep fry a turkey food? by yourself, nigga. Like. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. motherfucker's still half frozen, nigga. Why are you... <laughs> it's going to be a problem. Dude, yeah, why are turkey, you taking your I, I social don't... problems to the turkey, man? I mean, dude, man, stick with chicken. Yeah, turkey, I don't really deal with turkey like that. No. I think there are a lot of dopest, wackiest uh, Thanksgiving items. All right, give us another one. Macaroni and cheese. Oh. Huh? Ooh. Macaroni and cheese. A lot of people, macaroni and cheese don't be suitable for the whole family. Like, that's the that shit you do with your with your son and your daughter and your husband. Hell but, like, bringing no. that shit to the whole entire family, like, niggas don't respect that rack macaroni and cheese. Look, let me tell you this, dude. Some people's shit is just garbage, and they shouldn't even be bringing it to the table, period. <laughs> Agreed. But, nigga, when it's the bomb, man. Please yeah. feed on, man. I'm not talking about the bomb. I'm talking Macaroni about, and cheese. I'm talking about the know. dopest whack. Okay. My cousin got the dopest wackest macaroni and cheese. I'm going to tell you why it's it the dopest. It sounds like it's the wackest wackest. It's the wackest <laughs> wackest. But if you like a, if you ever grew up on some craft macaroni and cheese, this is for you. But they put this, they sprinkled, they baked the macaroni, the craft. And craft? Put the, yeah, craft. But that's, if you, your good. that's your goddamn problem right I'm good. there. Kraft, I'm good. Craft, I'm good. You like Kraft? So hell no, ninety nine cent ass fucking. I macaroni want my goddamn mac and cheese. I'm talking about the goddamn, goddamn that's cheese. That's your problem, Melrose. You just told me everything I need to know about you, man. Right now, this nigga said Kraft. Kraft. Goddamn. With that. the cheese on top, baked. Have Kraft, you ever had that? Kraft used that 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 lunchroom elementary school taco yeah. bowl cheese. <laughs> That taco boat cheese on Friday at elementary school. Yeah, they use that cheese. I'm good. Man. That's what it, that's what a nigga was brought up on. I like yeah, I I'm like that used, cheese. Yeah. I don't like the I don't like the shit when it's real cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. Oh, you like that powder shit? I mean, when it when the motherfucker put you like all the powder that, and they I put the like water on it. Yeah, put the powder in the water, nigga. Fuck all that cheese. This nigga, I don't like cheese like that. I Why think, put that I, much cheese I, on the top of I, a fucking casserole? I think most of the shit, as fat as I am, I think most of that shit that they cook is overrated. My fat ass eat a few things. I eat ham, I eat greens, I eat bread, I eat mac and cheese. This nigga said bread. <laughs> and that's it. I don't eat no fucking stuff in that dry shit. Wait, wait, what's the other? I don't eat no yams. I don't eat no oh, goddamn potato you salad. What? I don't eat no goddamn none of that shit. No cranberry, no no stuffing, no whatever the fuck y'all call that shit. My fat ass eat the same thing over and over again. This I eat a whole was half locked in the cage. Them niggas fed them. I don't eat all that like, extra shit. Here. It's nothing but a ham. Give me the meat, yeah. God damn it. Give me the, <laughs> Throw the items at him. Give me the greens. <laughs> Ain't no more yams. Give me the greens. I don't do no fucking yams. I don't do none of that shit. They came from Ain't no oh, more so yams. Also, all family. the other items. Is Everything garbage. else is done. Now, no, 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 no potato salad, whatever the fuck y'all call that. 
Potato salad is overrated. I'm good. Yeah, that's so overrated. That's for me. super overrated. I don't what? care. And niggas yes. be like, nigga, this grandma p- potato salad, nigga, and like nigga, get these. Yeah, nuts. nah. Y'all I'm niggas good. ain't never had no real potato salad. If you talk, if you nigga turn a potato s- salad, what? It's overrated. Everybody, it's nah, overrated. I'm good. It's overrated. Uh, Dressing though, man, that's my shit. Though. That's overrated. Nah, man, that shit like the one in the same, nigga. You potato no, salad and dressing? You can't have no fucking <laughs> potato salad. Nigga, about the dressing? Don't think. Uh, what the fuck is dressing? It's just some brown clump of shit. What is what it? What that shit? You put that shit in the turkey that shit don't bread let it based. marinate. Man, that shit, man, every time, that shit look like a coffee cake. I eat the coffee cake, but the fuck is this? It's just like it's, coffee cake with herbs in it. It's an Italian coffee cake. Nah, nigga. you know what? It looked like a sweater and shit. <laughs> Italian coffee cake. Man, that shit look like an armadillo's back. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I don't like that shit. Yeah. Gator. Can I get my gator sides? No, I'm good. I'm good. I think we need a caller, man. 323-293-3375. If you're looking right now, we're looking for a caller. Uh, Morris Media, Mike Robertson, Boulevard. I know, man. We don't have no fucking callers. Where y'all at? Jerry, call right now. From the, call from right now from the shit right now. Before we go crazy, yeah. man. For real. All right, who's that? Some- hey, you know what? Let's take a quick break, man. Let's play a song. Yeah. We'll come back, man. Why not? Let's do it. All right, man. Happy Thanksgiving and all that. We we, we with the hip hop and the jippity jop Happy job. Thanksgiving, <laughs> gay. Hip hop and jippity jop job. Uh. Y'all act like y'all never heard jazz before, man. What I heard fuck, jazz dude? before, man. You see the hat. <laughs> Damn. You see the hat? Everybody's sleep, you playing jazz. Oh, that's, that's, that's the regular, that's what it do, huh? <laughs> 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 All right, if y'all notice, we have a new person on the panel. Yes, yes we do. Hey. Named Jari in the house. Yeah. How's it going? Good. How are Thanks you? Thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Now, you just she just gave us a disclaimer talking about, ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I be cussing and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I I I she's like, I be cussing, <laughs> too. <laughs> she a sailor. I don't want to get, like, censored. <laughs> hey, man, I don't. we don't want nobody, like, calling, making calls, you know what I mean, to the president talking about, Why hey, not? Man, censor those guys, Somebody man. LeVar Somebody ball us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you hear our discussion on that? What do you think about that? Uh, LeVar Ball. I think that they're very privileged. So they felt like they can get away with it because mm, they said uh, that they were stealing from multiple stores. It wasn't just that one that they exactly, got caught in. Exactly. So I, I just think this is BS, and they obviously felt like they were bigger than the law. So I think they should have got locked up in China. Oh, oh nigga, you should still be out yeah. there. That's the right. that's the real deal. <laughs> oh, nigga, you should right. be in China. Lock. Pleating your case, yeah, nigga. Lock, lock, like lock. the rest hey, of them. Hey, do you see how I I'm locked up. Yeah. <laughs> he don't hold me down. I'm, I'm locked, locked up. up. <laughs> hey, look, but here's the question. Yeah. Should Pops apologize? I mean, not apologize, but say thank you for fucking getting my kids back or not? He should be locked up as an accomplice. Oh, as a, oh he, he set him up for that? He, he put him up for that. You know what Pops he's, did? He's, he's been making them mm. feel like they're so bigger than everything with his shoes. 
these shoes they made. They're all this expensive money. Ooh. Who are you? Yeah. Look at the hango. Ooh. Pop should Pop, be arrested. Pop you should come be over arrested. here. <laughs> and get locked hey, up yeah. with us. What he should be arrested for is You're a fucking mastermind. Him. He named him Leangelo, dude. That's, that's enough a right name. there, that's man. Right there. That's some that's fucked a up shit. That sound like a thief. Yeah, that's some fucked up shit. Hey, what you in here for, Leangelo? What's your name, nigga? Look, every every nigga you meet, you got to tell him at least three times what your name is. Nigga. Hey, niggas already... Angelo. Niggas already know his name. Like, hey, Leangelo, what you in here for? <laughs> yeah, what you steal this time? I was in hey, China what? getting some sunglasses, <laughs> man. What did he say? <laughs> what? Idiots. Uh, we talking more about... We talk about how, like, they need to get locked up in jail and everything, and now... Mm-hmm. His embarrassment because what they did went to another country. Wasn't nobody saying that when that white swimmer did that shit in the Olympics? I was. Remember yeah. that white swimmer? That motherfucker don't go. There wasn't no President Trump jumping in shit. They don't need to. Wasn't nobody, hey. This they motherfucker it, went over there they and let him go right on the spot. Yeah. That was yeah. retarded. And said that I was kidnapped and beat and shit and even <laughs> pointed the motherfuckers out. Was like, hey, man, it was a pool pool. And then he got on Dancing <laughs> with the Stars. What hey, kind of shit is this? I'm going to tell you what it is. Uh, <laughs> Say it. It is I, the white man. I wasn't. I wasn't uh, stealing. I was swimming. I'm the white man. It is I, the white man. That is the answer. To that the is the answer. That's what you were wondering. That's right. Because you know, it's funny. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Because I'm gonna say this. And we we can move I, on. I, I, okay. I, 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 Somebody. I was at a store today, and some white dude asked me, "What do you feel about the whole UCLA sinning thing?" Mm. And I asked him. I said, "Do you mean the time?" What? Just out the blue? Yeah, he's asked me. He's in line. First, he first, him, first hey, his hey, opening hey, line was, hey, "It is I, yeah, like, yeah. Was, the we, white we man." Small talk. I want to know how you feel. You know, we had small guy. talk. Hey. No, no, we had small talk in the store. Oh. Then he asked. Then he circled down to. What is small talk? How do you feel about? He's like, "How do you feel about the UCLA stealing incident?" And I was like, you mean you mean when they stole them organs from them black folks and got caught in 2008? You mean that? Oh, oh you were too deep on that nigga. And he no, wasn't ready for that. Uh, I was like, you want to talk about some stealing? And he was sitting below the belt in, 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 the, the top in a department to store. He like, hey. hitting me like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> Hey, come on, Dewan. We're talking about new stealing, okay? I'm talking about recent stills. <laughs> when, they, when they stole them black folks, <laughs> recent stills. Yeah, recent stills, man. Relax. It was a penis awesome. pull. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell us, what is um, an item that you'll go to item at Thanksgiving that you love, and what's the shit that's overrated? Well, it's all overrated because we eat too much. Okay. So for me, that's one thing. But, Every um, item is overrated. I must say, God damn, what What do you uh, like? You must like, like bologna like, sandwiches and shit? No. Captain Crunch? <laughs> you got a I Thanksgiving like dish. I know. None that's of your it is Thanksgiving good. dish. It's, it's too well, wide I mean, of a range. If I, had to, if I had to pick one thing, I can eat yams and macaroni and cheese all day long. Yams and oh, mac. Sorry. Yams and mac. Yams and, yams and mac. mac. I fuck with the mac. Mix it all up. And the yams, actually. Yeah. Melrose. Have you, have you ever had the uh, craft type shit? Yeah, I grew up on that. Oh, you grew up on that. Yeah, so is that what you prefer? Cheese. You prefer that? No, I don't prefer that. Oh, that cause, powder cheese now. Because Melrose, he kind of thinks that's like the best. No, 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 no. <laughs> what I said was the dopest <laughs> wackish. <laughs> like, I didn't I didn't came across some motherfuckers who didn't match with the craft with the natural cheese. Like, nigga, best of both worlds type shit. I'm uh, just, that's what I'm saying. Oh, the double Dopest wackish. Okay. That's what we were talking about. Dope is wacky. Oh, we got to be clear on these. My things, cousin, bro. nigga, got a, a <laughs> nigga Mexican cheddar top with a craft that'll fuck you up. Like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> the Mexican uh, cheddar. All right. Yeah, what, what about? Okay. What's your item that's like overrated? Like oxtails and stuff like oh, that. Oxtails. Oh, do, it. do niggas have oxtails for Thanksgiving? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I still like. Yeah. I ain't even yeah. had oxtails on Thanksgiving. Me either. I actually have. Yeah, I, I, like I, I fuck with it though. Y'all be having a full on every part of the animal, goddamn it. Yeah. No, I just, hooves and shit. When you have like a mixed family, you get it all. You get it all in the mixed family. Horse hooves. So, yeah. Oh, in a mixed family? Yeah, my oh, brother. Okay. My you don't just throw out your mixedness right there, right quick, without talking about it. Was, okay. <laughs> my brother in law from Trinidad, so he makes like oxtails and rice and peas, and it's like a whole Trinidad and American Thanksgiving and Christmas mm. together. So, yeah, oxtails, mm. I don't eat that. I came across somebody recently who said, I'm going to do oxtails and short ribs Damn. for Thanksgiving. That's like the same item and shit. Yeah. I know. Damn, yeah. yeah, 
Yeah, just not the bone in it. I was just like, not okay, that's you know what I'm saying. Oxtail. That's a, that's, that's a, a new grandma. Thing. Yeah, that's a grandma used to cook oxtail in anything. Like yeah. that's a grandma we used to cook for granddaddy when she finished cheating on him. That's a kind of shit. <laughs> <right. laughs> uh, oxtail. A and, and, son of hers. And like, I'm sorry about that, mill man. Here's an oxtail uh-huh. and, a, and a short rib. <laughs> Dinner. Right. Like, I get them both. <laughs> Look, oxtail <laughs> omelets and shit. That's, that's a combination. Ah. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so shit like oxtails, I'm in full agreement of that shit right yeah. there. On Thanksgiving? Extra shit, I can't do it. No, about the oxtails. It's overrated. I like Thanksgiving. I'm a person, and when I wake up, I be like, I don't know, I feel, di- I feel different on that day. Like, oh, I feel relaxed. I ain't got shit to do. I'm about to grub on some shit. <laughs> Nigga, I like Thanksgiving. That's what that shit yeah. conjure up in you, like when you wake up. Yeah. On I don't, <laughs> Thursday, you gonna wake up like I don't talk about I'm no thankful. pilgrims and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't giving thanks about, to no goddamn uh, yeah, red, no white, blue Indians, shit. Indians, nigga. I don't think of none of that shit. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I fuck with it. That's I'm all, like for me. It. Thanksgiving's like, and I'm gonna cook my wife's good ass. I mean, eat my wife's good ass food and. I'm playing a shitload of dominoes and talk shit and drink. That's yeah, what I Yeah, man. Mean. Fucking. You play dominoes. When else do you do cars. all that? God damn hey, it. Listen, listen, listen. I'm going to tell you what y'all. For, for a revolutionary nigga like this. Like this is. Because you're a revolutionary nigga. Everything you say is pro-black. You got know all the history. So to celebrate any part of Thanksgiving. It like you hear what I said earlier? I said I co-op the shit like they co-op R&B. But I mean that's. I take the shit from my. <laughs> That's taking the easy way out. Like you just gonna like, all right, fuck it. I I'll do the Easter Bunny. <laughs> I don't do the Easter Bunny. I don't, I don't. But I'm saying you gonna pick your poison. Like no, fuck I, I, that. I, on Easter, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go with the family that day too. I'm just waiting for all right, man. Anytime, I'm, anytime I can gather around my family and have a good ass time. I'm going to commune with my family. That's what that is. Damn. All right, all right, y'all. We got a guest, man. Yeah. Y'all, no. man. You guys over-talking. Yeah, I'm man. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so back to it. So, yeah. <laughs> What's some respect on her name, name man? <laughs> put, put some respect Please. in the game. So Melrose told us you are yeah. a real estate um, tycoon. She's yes, a I mogul. Am. Yes, I am. <laughs> a mogul. That's She's a do. mogul. Really? Is that how long you been in the game? I've been in the game licensed for six years. Six years. Licensed? What? Used to sell for many, many more years unlicensed? She had a pet uh, bull stable. Like, when I was younger, when I was like seven and eight, when you're supposed to be out playing, I was climbing through windows looking at houses. Really? Vacant houses. <laughs> oh, you bleed this shit, huh? Yes, you, I do. You breathing. Bleed this shit. She come from the window <laughs> to the <laughs> nigga. That's when I can remember. While, while all my friends was cheerleading. I was breaking in the houses. I had a tape roller. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. Not a tape roll. I had a screwdriver. I, I was popping yeah. through windows. I am the original Chris. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> she was the one showing you it was yeah. in your house Boom. first. Like, hey, this Before thing got a kitchen. That's crazy. Yeah. Man. <laughs> okay, so look, have you ever sold someone a house um, right at Thanksgiving time? Yes, I'm actually closing on a house on. Hmm. We can't close on Thursday because it's a holiday, so the city's not open. So we are closing the following day. Oh, so they got a what? Where are they going to eat? How they Thanksgiving in the hotel? No, me and my it's my client. We're actually going to a restaurant on Thanksgiving. <laughs> really? Because that's yeah. how we. You like baby? I got you. Popping. I got yeah, you. Yeah, I got you. Ah, uh, I couldn't. Yeah. We celebrate that yeah, restaurant you couldn't. on Thanksgiving. Day. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. So what makes customers come back? Um, probably my realness. I don't lie. I uh, <clears throat> even if something that they don't want to hear, I'm gonna tell them, and I teach people how to find value not just go buy in the hottest neighborhood i'm about building wealth oh about building wealth Mm -hmm. what's it like being a black woman in the middle estate in the real estate (laughs) game like what's that like it's not easy all the time um but knowing the city i mean can't nobody outsell me can't nobody like tell me anything about where to go what to do what to buy okay i can like do that in my sleep Obviously, because you used to climb through windows and shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been doing this for a very long time. Unlicensed and licensed. <laughs> okay, so do you work by yourself? Licensed. I do. A year ago, I went on my own and opened up my own brokerage. So, yes, I do. Okay, so are you um, solo? Like, do you have a team? I'm or? solo now. I just hired three people. So, I'm looking to hire seven more before in the next six months. And then I'll go from there once I get them oh, okay. on, on track. Okay, and um, are you um, are you married? You have family? No, I'm single, so I can do this all day. Oh, all day, no all kids, night. No, no, I got a cat, really? but you know, I just put her on the balcony. Do niggas be trying to holler at you at the open house? Like, you know, that is a hard thing. I think for any woman in real estate or just any business, yes, I do get hit on a lot where people think, you know, they trying to they come at me as they want to buy a house. 
But then they're like, oh, let's go out. And I'm like, that ain't what I Yeah, I was looking for. Uh, like, hey, yeah. actually, this is one bedroom. I'm looking for two yeah. bedrooms. I had a creepy guy. <laughs> I had a creepy guy before, you know, uh, met me out of one of my properties I was selling. And I just got a bad feeling from him, even from his voice on the phone. But, you know, mm-hmm. as a professional, yeah. I was like, Hello. I'm still going to yeah. <laughs> You sound like Mr. Rogers, huh? <laughs> yeah. I am looking to buy a house. And then we got yeah. to the property, and I, I felt his energy, and I let him walk in the house by himself. And he's like, oh, you're not going to come in with me? I'm like, no. And I want like, you to why? come inside. And I said, because you creeped me out. <laughs> you so told him? I this is going to be say, our house. So I, I, like, text a couple people that I, you know, my go-to people. I'm like, at, I'm like, at, I'm at I, six, I, six, six, seven. Like, yeah. <laughs> Manhattan. <laughs> right? <laughs> this nigga creepy bitch. Come over now. No, but God, I, if damn. I come up this, yeah. this is the nigga who took me. <laughs> he said like this. Like, I am at the house. <laughs> nah. Wow, but so you got is, the creepy shit. Hard. So I do have to like weed out the people who are serious and the people that are just trying to hit on me just for being a woman. Mm. Just for being a woman? Just for being a woman, you know, a successful and, you know, a fine-ass woman. So it's like, it's really All hard. right, so yeah, put the extras yeah. on it. Don't just say just being a woman because everybody don't get that treatment. Yeah, I what guess, did, I don't know that other side. What did you do before, uh, <laughs> you before only know real this estate, part of what the were you into? Before real estate, what uh, were you into? Before real estate, I was in TV production for 12 years. Do you tie that into real estate? How that? Um, in a sense, because I feel like with my personality and what I learned in real estate, it I mean, what I learned in TV production, it keeps him out, keeps him on my toes. So it's kind of hard for anybody to outwork me because mm. I think ahead of the game. I think a lot further than what somebody would think when it comes to either finding a house in a deal, anything. It can't. Can't nobody outthink me. They just can't. Good luck with that. All right. This is a thinking man's game. Mm-hmm. Yes, it, it is. is. It is. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised it is. All right, man. So back to Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about shit that has happened on Thanksgiving that was crazy. Anybody have some crazy stories? <laughs> Melrose? My cousin was coming down from, um, like, Palmdale or something, mm-hmm. right? He's a little unstable. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at you. <laughs> no, no, like... I'm a little unstable. He's a little unstable. They was like, um, take the uh, Thanksgiving turkey. They made it out there to the joint from, like, Palmdale to L.A. That was cold. Halfway That's in the there, least of their worries. <laughs> <laughs> he started attacking the turkey. He hitting the turkey. He hitting a turkey. Ah, attacking. <laughs> he hitting a turkey. Uh, what are you doing? He, like, taking he, like, a little He's a turkey. <laughs> he's just, he in the turkey. On the way down, uh, get pulled over by the police, go to jail. Only reason we know he was hitting the turkey is when niggas went to go to the impound, the turkey was still there, in there, and the motherfucker, like, like you was eating this he motherfucker. Eating turkey. On the way down. That French shit fries. had no arm. <laughs> No wing, like one wing and shit. It was just like he hit the turkey, my nigga. Like, why would you? You know what I'm saying? Like handfuls wow. of the turkey. Damn. Was he, he a went, hungry type nigga? Nigga went to jail, nigga. Niggas impounded the car, got the turkey. Was did y'all get the? Did y'all get the cur- turkey? We got it. It was later, but I'm saying when niggas got to the turkey, it was like this nigga was eating it, my nigga. Uh, Taking pictures and sending that shit. Like, nigga. <laughs> this nigga ain't have the turkey. He made it. <laughs> hey, dude, look. I had this thing, man. I had this time where my, my grandmother's, we went to my grandmother's house and shit, and her fucking best friend came over. Mm. And, you know, we all know her and shit or whatever. So we eat and drink. And somebody was like, yo, pass me that duck. Nigga, she grabbed the duck with her hand, nigga, and picked it up. And it was like, and nigga, she had duck. She had a duck in her hand, dog. Oh, <laughs> At the fucking table. <laughs> with juices coming down oh, her shit, dude. Gross. Literally <laughs> happened right before my eyes. I'm like, dude, nobody ain't going to say nothing about this shit. <laughs> That's funny. And then she's talking about. What? Well, my hands clean? <laughs> nah. <laughs> no. Yes. It's sport so. of everybody. Yes. No, they're not yeah. clean no. enough. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> That's funny. That shit happened to me. I dude. couldn't imagine that happening. Crazy. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it was funny how, when it happened, dude. That's funny. Hey, right, so what's the proper time to show up to someone's crib? Like, look, y'all coming over today for Thanksgiving? What time do you show up? 
Mm, it depends on what time they ask you to show up. Nah. They don't really say the time. They say fall through. To. Okay. Huh? Explain. Nah, if I'm going to, like, somebody's house, like a family's house, I'm showing up at, like, 10 a.m. I want breakfast, too. Mm. Oh, you're doing the full okay. day. Yeah, I'm okay. doing all okay. that. Okay. But if it's, like, a friend, I'm going I'm to roll in around 2.30. 2.30? Uh, yeah, because most people serve dinner around 3, 2.33. Mm. 2.30, yeah. man. Yep. That sounds like you've got some experience there. Mm-hmm. That's real Thanksgiving <laughs> experience. Like, <laughs> hey, if I'm real close, I it's eat. 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, I'm uh, there for everything, but it. Yes. Just a nigga I know, 2.30. 2.30. <laughs> All right. That's, I'm not going to miss the, I'm not gonna miss prayer on the food. No, I'm not missing the hot food. <laughs> hot food. What, De- Dewan, what's your time? Uh, my mom used to start around 2, so I get there See? about 2.30. Oh, then, damn. You know what I'm saying? Because like, then I go to my wife's family after that, like around like 6 or 7. And if I ain't, if I ain't doing either, I keep my ass at home. Like, I don't like going to people's house. But you, that's funny that you keyed in on the 2.30 shit. It's the same <laughs> about thing. About 30 minutes after the start, you yeah. feel me? You know what I mean? Melrose, was that, are you plus or minus on that? What I'm, you? I'm, my, I'm like five. Uh, it's usually when I come, it's like make your own plate type deal. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, get, yeah. you, get you something. You missed the whole, like, Yeah, I missed the whole hands. everybody being thankful. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, a, Grandma, like, like, damn, Grandma came. She's 99, nigga. 17th game we are of spades by the time you get there. <laughs> you missed all that. Yeah, I came in on the spades <laughs> and, like, get uh, your man. plate, find a seat type shit. <laughs> He's a creeper. When niggas is leaving, like, damn, y'all going? Damn. Ah, uh, uh, that's funny. Okay, so have you ever um, <clears throat> eaten at someone's house for Thanksgiving? And the food was not good. Yes, I don't eat it. I just, I just toss it. Really? Yeah. So you Ooh. made your plate and what? Tell us about it. If I don't like it, I'm gonna throw it away. I don't eat. So you've food had this more like. than once. Yeah, because I don't cook, so I go to other people's house. So now I just know where to go. Damn. Oh, so somebody, so you make your plate and you'll just what? Like, I just describe it. it. You'll just like slip I'll to the trash. Like, you ain't gonna just be like, take this back. No, God damn it. I'm not that rude. So <laughs> I don't make the plate. I'll sit down. If I start eating, it, I'll just like. You pick at it, and if I don't like not to sit there and you start having conversations with uh, people, people kind of forget you didn't eat your food, and then it just slips into the trash. And then you just get closer and closer to the trash Damn. can yeah. and just let it, like, slip up in there. Yeah, and I put a napkin <laughs> on top. You know, you put a napkin on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah just toss it. Yeah. My the family way. make you do, explain. Like, hey, you better eat that. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you, hey, you got all the greens. They wouldn't even know. <laughs> you quick and sly up. Yeah. Come back like, I'm full, man. Yeah. Damn, that shit was bull. She make it look like she, I'll be back, yo. Try exactly. What about you, Dewan, dude? What about you? What? What, when, when, it, when it's not good. This nigga high. <laughs> like, I, I said, one. I'm either at my parents' house or my wife's house and <laughs> low talking cook, about. So I ain't never had that. So I know what I like. I know I ain't no goddamn yams. I ain't no god. So I'm good. How like, you don't eat yams? Damn. You're a yeah. the motherfucker. That's how. Really? Do you like potatoes? No. Like, no, okay, okay. I don't really fuck with hmm, I relax. fuck with fries a little This nigga fries, eat about three items fries. and shit. I'm, I don't fries, really fuck Big Macs, some fries, and, but I don't really do fries. And enchiladas. Like, you know, I mean, from what you're saying, it's not like you got on a protein. Base. I don't do beans or rice. No you don't bad. do okay. beans or rice. Hell no. Nah. What the fuck, nigga? I'm good. You wow. do any vegetables? Oh, yeah, I do vegetables. Like okay. I do my salads and shit and that's kale not and all that. Okay. Well, that's not vegetable. I'm talking about yeah. like Brussels sprouts and broccoli and green beans. Yeah, and Dr. C, we said broccoli ain't a real vegetable, so I ain't got to fuck with it. You know what I <laughs> mean? So, hey, that nigga be <laughs> that nigga be eating okra and shit. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, I put okra in the greens. It's good. Yuck. It's in the greens. In the greens. In the greens. Right? But she take had it out. In the greens. Me? She yeah. season it with it. Whoa. And then she take it out. That's what you do with neck bones. Mm-hmm. Hey, let me tell you. She got neck bones there too. And okra. Is it, it slimy? Good than a no, no, no. Neck bones and some greens is good. Yeah, she yeah, do smoke neck bones. bones that. She, she, she boil it and take the okra out. I so never heard pieces. no okra. It's whole pieces uh-huh. in there. Not, they don't show okay, it up. Okay. You don't want too much oh, yeah. Dude. I was like, ooh. No, whole pieces. Just oh. you know, Okra is yeah, some nasty shit. And then she take it out. I want to taste that. Listen, let me tell y'all some some fly shit I had last Thanksgiving. Some chili cheese chitlins, nigga. Uh, get these. Hold on. Hell no. Move over. You said, well, said no, no. some chili cheese chillings, <laughs> nigga. Uh, I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> get out of here. Chili they probably did some bullshit hey. like do turkey chicken. No, the they only, bull- only the bullshit they did to the chili cheese well, chillings was put some sour cream on it. I'm like, why would you put <laughs> uh, sour cream? Like Del Taco chili that? cheese? Yeah. <laughs> 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 nigga got that shit out the ice cream truck. Oh, nigga. Man. Hey. Oh, you making my stomach hurt. Uh, uh, they put sour oh. cream on it. 
Chili cheese chili. That's what I thought cool when I got them motherfucking nigga and they had the uh, bacon uh, bits on the top. Yeah. Chillin' oh, cheese chillin'. Oh, they gross. put some extras on that shit, nigga. You going there this year? <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm going back, man. I'm like, need you to put them sour Melrose, cream you probably had some chips. You dipped some <laughs> chips up in that motherfucker, huh? Chili <laughs> cheese chili. Don't. I don't know, but it was like, oh. you know when you put chili cheese on anything, nigga, when chili that shit don't go. On chillins, though, man. When that don't go. Nah, on chitlins. I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> they never had it. <laughs> Niggas ain't never had it. I ain't, yeah. nigga, I ain't, right. I ain't, gonna I ain't buying it. I don't know if I'm, I'm just saying. Oh, man. For everybody else out there that's open, I'm talking about my food porn type don't motherfuckers. Chili cheese chillings, nigga. Man. Without the sour that's cream. Grilled onions. Porn. Fuck with it. <laughs> Grilled onions. Not green onions? <laughs> <laughs> green it's onions. funky, but it's good, nigga. Uh, it's funky, but it's good. Now, look, so far we have not heard not one cuss word for you to give us this full uh, disclosure and shit. We ain't got the cussing yet. <laughs> well, say some shit. Hey, the way you <laughs> said it. Shit. Yeah, the way you said it, like you was going to come on the mic. Like, you just don't uh, you talk. That shit, bitch. No, what? Tell me how much more time we got. <laughs> uh, we got about five minutes. <laughs> See? Say some shit. Down. It's going down. Say it, yeah. <laughs> this is this the Okay, uh, tell us shit about hour. this. Have you, mm-hmm. ever, have you ever dated a dude on Thanksgiving? That you, he invited you to his crib on Thanksgiving that you was dating. Not that I can remember. Mm. Never. So I niggas never remember. said like, come to, hey baby, come to the crib, you know, we having our Thanksgiving. No, not that I can remember. Okay, so do you feel. they just come with me. So do mm. you, or they usually just come with you? Yeah. Take oh, charge. You already, you already see where that's going. I mean, they that come with. Too, I don't yeah. go to your people. No, you're going. Yes. We're uh, going, going to be at a spot. restaurant. Yeah, you're okay. here. You got that right. It's uh, Thanksgiving. Okay. We're going to be at a restaurant. What do you think is going on? <laughs> this is not for family. No we're thankful we're rich, chillings. and you're not. Uh, we're thankful we're rich. I don't need rich. no surprises. I don't need no surprises. Uh, I know exactly so I what's that. going on. So right. automatically, you coming to my shit, or we're not going anywhere. No, they can go to where they going, but they still got to come to my... I probably won't go where they going, no. Ah, Unless I just really... Because you don't want to have to throw a nigga's plate away, huh? Like, like ah, <laughs> this your auntie this, shit I don't want his family to not like me off the top ah. after Thanksgiving. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I can't remember a time going over someone else's house on Thanksgiving. I just can't. Wow. Okay. All right. I feel that. So, like so you don't feel... If you're really into somebody, do you feel some kind of way if they don't invite you? Not, nope. No. Not at all. She had the restaurant. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm the type of person that we can go our separate ways and come back together later. But you know, it's it's, it's cool. Yeah. I don't feel. I don't, we got different shit to be thankful you over about. To my family's house and you don't show up. I'm fine with that too. Oh, okay, it's cool. I don't care. That's cool. Yeah, yeah that's real special. Yeah, I don't man. care. Wow. You're like a special breed right there, man. I right guess. there, you just open up the door for thousands right there. <laughs> <laughs> you said for thousands. Niggas I like, guess. can you put up her Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> That's some real even thinking right there. Yeah, I, 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 I ain't got time for stuff like that. Like, literally, I think the last time I was in a relationship like, like that was, like, 2007. So, really? yeah, mm. that Relation I was, like, like going what? to their house. Like, when oh. I would go over to their family, his family house, and he would come to my family's house. Other than oh. that, I don't think I've really dated anybody that serious since then that I feel like I got to show up at their family house. They got to show up at my family oh, okay. house. Mm. If it happens, cool. If not, who cares? Oh, okay, mm. so 2007, you maybe had somebody. So, since then, it's just been... Um, just been randoms. Randoms. Oh, random. Like, no, we're not going to do Thanksgiving, baby. No. Random mm. takedowns. Mm. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. Do know. what, boo-boo? Random takedowns. Uh, All right, yeah. man. I respect <laughs> I don't eat potato salad. Sorry. Mm. I don't eat chili cheese chillings. <laughs> chili cheese chillings. No, yeah. no, thank you. We yeah. <laughs> Nigga, meet me at the cork. We got something to talk about. Uh, right? <laughs> I'm having vodka right now. Pull up. <laughs> Champagne. Champa- Champagne. You got that right. Oh, uh, man. Where, okay, where can a guy take you that's special? I'm pretty easy, honestly. I just like to eat good food. So mm. you take me to a nice restaurant. But you'll throw some food away in a minute. So it got to If be- I don't like it, I don't have a problem with telling people I don't like something because I feel like it's weird for people. If somebody don't like something, I give them, just tell me. Like, Okay, where can he take a- you? What do I like? My favorite restaurants is a Cajun restaurant in Redondo Beach. So you want to take me somewhere, take me there. What's that? Raging Cajun. Raging, Raging Cajun. Cajun. Raging, Raging Cajun. Cajun. The original Raging Cajun. Yeah. 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 That's my yeah. shit. That's your favorite. Raging Cajun. That's Cajun. That's I saw favorite. that on the that that Food Channel the other night. That place is good. Yeah, I've, I've been going there forever. You're not talking about the one on PCH, right? No, I'm talking about the The, the original there. one. Yeah, yeah they just reopened The one is Raging, nigga. Not Cajun, Raging. I'm back open. So, yeah, I can go there every night of the week. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. Well, look, we're going to have you back to talk about some real estate. 
um, you know, get, put these people down. up on some game, yeah, man. Get Niggas need some game some and shit, man. Get on this, man, right? I'm telling you. For real. All right, y'all. Much love. This is Mike Robertson Boulevard. Uh, thanks, everybody, for listening. And I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving and time spent with their people. Even if you don't celebrate that shit, man, we're all rebels up here on this stage. And we try mm. to, like, you know, <laughs> dance on the other side of the aisle sometimes. But whatever. Mm. Anyway, um, at King Mike Boogie, find me on all social media. And uh, tell them who you are. Dewan Brown, D-W-A-N-N Brown on Facebook and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Melrose Uncut. Everybody know where to find me. Eighty nine sixteen Southwestern, Black Hollywood. That is the movement. <laughs> Pull up, spend yeah. some money with us. <laughs> Get your hair cut. <laughs> Get your hair cut. You already know that. I'm easy. I'm Jerry Rambo, the only one in the world, so it's easy to find me Rambo like the movie. Damn, we gotta talk about that. You didn't touch your last name. Rambo. <laughs> Next time. Yeah. Rambo. All right, we got Paul this in the house behind the boards. Woo! Hey. Thanks again. Have a nice, happy Thanksgiving. We love y'all. Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, let's keep clowning, y'all. Happy yes, Thanksgiving, sir. people. <laughs> Holla back at King Mike Boogie Supreme. I like my green with crystals like folders. Picking up momentum, rolling like boulders. They call me ice, but I'm really much colder. My rhymes is heavy like the weight on my shoulders. I'm spitting that red hot smoldering lava. I fight to the end like the Navajo. Crack a bottle though. Make it the goose with cranberry and triple sec. Triple my check. I feel the ripple effect of a fool on the loose. I hit you from every angle. From up twos to right street shit like JJ of Dynamite. Slide me some dough, I show you an execution in the flesh.